Good evening, cult members, and welcome to the Pop Culture Cult. I'm Sean. I'm Janice. And this is going to be episode one of phase two, or at least that's what we're going to go with. Actually, dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. Well, actually, the reason I'm saying it that way is because we have started a podcast feed. We are on Anchor FM, and that distributes out to the rest of the world, uh, Spotify, Google Play, Pop uh, podcast feed, a uh, bunch of different things. I've sent it out to the Facebook group, but I will continue to reshare that and uh, follow us on your whatever your podcast f- feed of choice is. <laughs> Except iTunes, apparently we're not there. We're yet. not on iTunes yet. We need <laughs> we need we need a few more views and clicks and stuff like that, which is why we're asking you guys to follow us on all of those platforms and sharing with all of your friends. Share, share, share. Yep. Yay. Uh, we're also on YouTube, so subscribe to YouTube. Thanks for watching. Good night now. <laughs> that was the whole video. Okay, there's not a ton of news news going on this this week because we're in the afterglow of Star Wars Celebration, and Josh and I will do our best to break all of that down or at least break some of it down uh, coming up this week. And then uh, we're in the, the passion of Game of Thrones and all of that. And then we're in the... Oh my God! What's going to happen in Endgame this week? Right. Uh, so, so my husband realized that he's he's going to have a broken heart by the end of this week between the battle Battle of Winterfell on Sunday and um, watching Endgame <laughs> Thursday and Friday because uh, that's how we roll. <laughs> by Sunday night, um, I'm expecting twenty of my favorite characters to be dead. <laughs> And uh, like don't dead, know, dead, like dead, dead, not like, like dusted. Uh, yeah, like like maybe Gamora dead. maybe zombies. Spoilers. Maybe that zomb- Actually, one of the theories we're actually going to get into this a bit. Um, one of the theories that somebody was saying today was they're going to kill off a bunch of characters at Winterfell, and then they're going to come back as zombies um, at at King's Landing. Oh, that's but, been a theory. Yeah, that's for been a, a theory while. for a while. Although I yeah. think it would be funny if Tyrion gets his wish and does get. Um, White Walkerified, and then gets to kill Cersei. <laughs> Cersei as a White Walker, that would be awesome. Let's talk about. Um, uh, let's. I, I don't want to go into celebration because I want Josh and I to get into that really deep. Uh, that's what she said. Uh, but let's talk about Endgame just for a minute. Let's yep. let's talk about what we. The marketing has been. Uh, we've talked about it in the past about how. I really didn't want to see a trailer. Yeah. I didn't want I anything. Either. I and I didn't I didn't even want a title. I wanted there to be uh, a 15 second Avengers A that's it at, and that was the all of the marketing in the trailer. Right, just to tell you like the, the date. date. Right. And that <laughs> was it. That's all I wanted. But I know that they can't really do that and and Whatever. all that stuff. Whatever. But they've been doing a really good job of traveling around and actually as we're talking right now right now monday 7 20 arizona time as we sit right now the world premiere is going on right we saw pictures and we saw pictures and they did a live stream uh, marvel studios did a live stream of yep. the red carpet yep. and uh, there's a ton of people there uh they've done a really good job of really only showing us like maybe the first 15 20 minutes of the movie that's what the Kevin Feige and the Russos have said they've made a point of telling everyone don't spoil anything for anybody. Uh, uh, Doctor Strange saw 14 million different versions of the future and he still hasn't seen, he still hasn't spoiled it. <laughs> so I, I, as excited as I, as I am, I'm dodging everything that's in game right now. Yeah. I'm yeah. I haven't, seen i mean other than we saw some pictures on instagram of some people with their passes going you know they were going which is cool i mean that that part is fine yeah Yeah. that's fine but um i haven't really even watched this latest trailer i think you did a trailer i did a trailer reaction for that trailer um but there's been some stuff that's come out like the last week or so that's all been like tv spots and stuff like that yeah and people have been talking about it online that they think maybe there's some stuff in there that's spoilers but i I, like i said at the trailer reaction i was done like i don't need anything i'm not listening to anybody talk about their speculation or 
whatever. Even on like um, Heroes, Collider Heroes, which is what I listen to every week. Uh, if, as soon as they get into the end game stuff, I'm like, nope, I'm, I'm out. I'm done. I'm... <laughs> We're trying to be as fresh as possible. We're... So we go on Thursday to the fan event. Yes. And then and again then on Friday. Is that 3D? Did we do 3D on Friday? Maybe we should probably check that because I think we they're up there. Our, oh, I okay. put them up there. <laughs> uh, we've talked about this a little bit. Um, we're in the middle of moving, uh, and so there's. Bo- I wish I could turn the camera around and <laughs> and like walk you through the house about how much chit is everywhere. This looks very organized. <laughs> the rest of the house has exploded. Yeah, this will be the last part that we actually pack <laughs> because that way we can actually f- not film in front of a blank wall. But it, so it's been uh, kind of hard for us to get caught up on like some of our Patreon stuff and everything. And we uh, we want to watch all the Avenger movies. But at this point in time, I just don't know when we're going to do it. So we, maybe we'll just watch Infinity War on Wednesday. And Yeah. Well, we can't watch them all in the next three days, so. Actually, you can. You can. They are doing a. But we have jobs. Uh, well, and I like to sleep. Uh, that sleep is way more important than the job. <laughs> but uh, uh, but the AMC, I was at AMC's doing mm-hmm. the 55 hours straight mm-hmm. of all 22 movies, yeah. including Captain Marvel and like, you know, those big comfy chairs. And I just. No, I'm, I'm out. I'll I'm, struggle to sit in that chair for three hours we did last year to get ready for infinity war we did the road to infinity war which was once a week we did a marvel movie in order in order yeah. as order that they came out not the chronological order right. but the order that they came out right. and we included uh, uh the incredible hulk in there with edward norton and Liv tyler we did and uh yeah. Uh, and so we did that whole thing. So we were ready for Infinity War. We've watched Infinity War a bunch of times since the since it came out on Blu-ray. We'll watch it again. I I could compete in the Schmodown specialty match for the MCU. So I'm I'm super excited and ready to go with that. Yep, we're ready. So let's talk about Game of Thrones. We did a full speed review. Is about the best way to explain it yep. of episode two. So you need to try not to spoil anything. I'm not going to spoil anything. Hey. Uh, I the What I do want to talk about is a couple different things. One is the titles. I want to talk about what they're doing because I really appreciate it. Right. That what they're doing. They are not. However, really... it makes our and others who yes. do this kind of thing lives difficult. They are not releasing the titles of the episode until the following morning. So Monday morning. Right. And I like that because the first two titles have been not spoilers. Hints. Yeah. Hints. And they've done a really good job. I mean, the internet is, I I watched four different videos today about Game of Thrones reviews and and stuff. So it's all about Game of Thrones right now. Right. and, And, and the internet is so, so, to try to control some of that plabber and speculation and, speculation and potentially and guessing correctly. Right. And they just aren't releasing it until the next day, which yeah. I really appreciate. Yeah. And, uh, but then we just have to make up our own titles. <laughs> I, I, I still, I, it's fucking called Ginny's song. Uh, <laughs> so the, so I really have appreciated that. I'm, we all know what's going on in the next episode. It's the battle of Winterfell. Yeah. It's yeah. it's going to happen, and uh, and so let let the carnage begin. Ah, um, <laughs> what I do, the only thing I want to talk about with the Game of Thrones has been the palaver that we were talking about. Yeah, and there has been some <sighs> everyone's opinion about something is going to be different, and that's fine. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> uh, but. There's been some righteous indignation indignation about things that the person involved doesn't care about. Right, I mean, right. People are getting offended about things that they have no business being offended. And about. that's and I, that's an internet. That's 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 social justice warrior thing that's going on right now. But it's also the internet right now is. That kind of thing. And I just, it, there's, there, 
it's not a spoiler. There's a scene where they're all sitting around um, and they're telling war stories in front of a fire. Right. And I heard some people today complain about that. Right. And 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 the whole time we're watching this, it's like this is an after revel or a night it, it the medieval reenactment thing that we do a night after the fighting where everybody's sitting around the fire or just just sitting around the fire and we're telling stories of wars past and events past and and people i mean it we totally got that we it happens yeah. we do it all the time and the other thing too with that whole that whole part that whole process of that 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 scene was was the you know this could be their last night right and and not everyone in that room and there was only what like six seven people in that room not everybody in that room is going to survive and this is the first time this is the first time all of them have ever been together been together yeah because it was like davos and jamie well they would never have been in a room together right. and right and right. so um all of these people who are connected they all know of each other right. and know stories about each other and all of this. And they, and they spent time together. And, and like, I love people who are like, uh, you know, Oh, if I knew it was the last night, I'd be screwing everybody and getting drunk and all that. And it's like, eh, or no, right. <laughs> you know, you, it's, it, it, would you, would I, you, I, I uh, um, uh, you know, we've put explicit on the on the podcast stuff, so I it's really hard to get hard when <laughs> impending doom is sitting over your shoulder. It's all these people who are like, if I knew a plane was going down, I'd get I'd get laid one last time. No, you're holding on to the fucking seat, <laughs> and everybody handles it a little bit differently. Some people want to be with their loved ones and hold them and and love them and right. and some people even with their loved ones they want to go and commune with everybody else or or they just want to forget it all and get get drunk and yeah. you know and, and generally uh, i mean it's just it's a thing people will gravitate towards other people you right, don't want to right. spend potentially your last night alive alone so you're gonna gravitate towards other people and you're gonna talk about things that take your mind off of what is about to happen and giants milk or <laughs> or say the things that you didn't get to say like like gray worm and um um Masende, you know yeah. he's, you know say yeah. things to people that you may never see again they you may be dead or whatever so i thought it was a good representation uh, yeah of, of I, all of that some people are saying this is the best episode they had in the entire series and and, and I, I thought could, it was a good one i don't know i don't know if, if it's i would best. say the best i don't know if it's but best it but we uh, way up there yeah it's it's really good because the 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 tension that is behind everything yeah every conversation has tension behind it because of the impending doom of the army of the undead yep. and you have all of the other stuff that's going on right. all the political stuff going on and all the relationship stuff going on and all, you know, and so that pending, you know, having that over your shoulder just builds attention. And people are like, we only have six episodes. You need to get to it. Well, the next four are 90 freaking minutes. <laughs> Let me do some math. Let's see. Uh, that's nine. That's six hours of, uh, Oh, Four, five, six. six. Yes, it's six hours. Good for you. It's six hours. I, I had to almost take my shoes off. Uh, <laughs> it's six hours of epicness, and you want to jump. You had to do the episode last week where you everybody shows up at Winterfell, and you had yeah. to have that episode. You well, couldn't end gotta, the previous season and get to and just start with the battle. And you have to have some closure. This was an episode full of closure because for the most part again yes. most everybody got something. most of these people a lot of these people are not going to live they're not going to make it so right you will forever be going but what about okay i don't know if this is this necessarily i don't think it's a spoiler what about aria and the hound you know right. you would if if we didn't have last night's episode 
you would forever be going, well, that was kind of just a dropped thread. Right. You right. know, so this was a if lot of... If you want dropped threads, go watch Doctor Who. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. So it was it was a lot of wrapping some stuff up so that you have an answer because potentially after next week, those people aren't going to be alive anymore. That in And... And with all of the ideas of what's going to happen next week, do we want to do a little responsible speculation about what we think is going to happen? There's so much. And we have 15 minutes. How, right. how uh, responsible can you speculate? 15 uh, minutes? I can There's go so off the rails things. and say everybody's going to die. But, you know. I don't think everybody's going to die. Like I said, I think it would be amazing if Tyrion gets his wish and becomes a, a white and kills Cersei. I think that would be super fun one of my favorite ones i heard today and actually i'm going to just adopt this one for now until the end of the episode and i'm going to say <laughs> i never knew it actually happened but the my favorite one i heard today was because it's light spoilers we all know it's going to happen the army of the dead shows up to winterfell it's not really a spoiler i mean we, if you're watching game of thrones you know what's happening yeah yeah but people were like where's the night king where's the night king where's the night king and the in the the shot they showed he could have been in there but he wasn't riding the dragon so whatever but the theory was today that he actually flew ahead to king's landing is going to burn the golden <laughs> company now you have twenty thousand plus whoever happens to be there coming new up ones from the other coming side up from the south oh that's a good one and i'm like oh damn that's an awesome one that's a good one does the ice dragon burn them? Really? Does he frost them? It's um, it's that uh, liquid nitrogen. Oh, where it instantly freezes them. But then they just, they just fall apart. Break right? apart. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, but th like that thought process was like, yeah. So let's do the math. Did it? Did it? Oh, oh, oh yeah. Okay, I could. Yeah, totally but it's do like five hundred mile again. Fuzzy time. Don't. <laughs> fuzzy oh. map. Logic. Okay, I'm going to have this conversation. It's not really about the show. It's about people's reaction to the show. Your number one complaint about this show is that time travel is funky. There's dragons <laughs> and magic <laughs> and blood magic. And, <laughs> and that's your number one issue yeah. is timey-wimey and shit. Like, it's like people complaining about um, the bombs in Last Jedi falling towards the dreadnought right and they're like there's no gravity in space okay let's have the conversation they were pulled by a chain they're already going in that direction okay fine they don't use they've never talked about fuel in in star wars okay let's have that conversation how do you think ships move in space without fuel like 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 wishes and hopes and prayers and dreams and whatever <laughs> Oh, by the way, you have no problem with the noise in space. There's no fucking noise on spurts. Uh, right. Right. <laughs> so it's so I just I just find it funny, whatever. Um uh, the the discussion that um Arya's gonna be the one that kills the Night King. I like that theory. Uh I like the theory that John kills Danny. I like that theory. Oh, that to Arya wears Bran's face. Arya wears Bran's face. Because Bran is dead, and so she wears the face to get close to the Night King. That's not a spoiler. That's not a spoiler. A speculation. It's just a, a rampant speculation. And uh, I like the fulfilling the prophecy of of John is the one. Sorry, Aegon is the one who kills Daenerys uh, to fulfill the prophecy. Right, because the king kills the queen. Yeah, isn't that what it? Uh, but there's they've talked about this in the past too about how there's all these prophecies within the Game of Thrones and oh, everything. But the Night King could kill Cersei and then the king has killed the queen. There's actually, um, there's, uh, don't quote me on this. I'm hearing it. I heard it from somebody today on one of the shows that I listened to, but there is a storyline of uh, the Stoneheart Queen mm -hmm. that is actually uh, Lyanna Stark. Mm -hmm. She comes, uh, the Night King brings her back Oh no! And she's the one who, um, she ha you know, she's the one who really manipulates everybody into doing stuff because she's been brought back. Whatever. Yeah, but I don't the, think they have time for that. For that, for no. 
but then the, they jumped from that. If, let's take that concept of the Night King resurrecting somebody. He goes to King's Landing, takes out the Golden Army, kills Cersei, makes Cersei the Stoneheart. Right. And, what did I say? Yeah. That Cersei would be the White Queen White or the Night Queen, Queen or however yeah, it is you want to. Yeah. So say, that. Yeah. So there's there there's there's there. That was mine like a week ago. Right. Right. But there's there's precedence within that within the lore of Game of Thrones and all that stuff that have that in there too that they can manipulate from the books, which is what they've been doing since uh, George just decided never to write a Game of Thrones book to finish the story ever. <laughs> He just released a book. Yeah, and that's all um, folklore and myth and like telling stories of the last Targaryen dynasty. And and... He's just setting up the prequel whatever series. Right, right, because he's more directly involved with that one than he is in this one. He he let Benioff and Weiss take the information and go with it, and he, he was he was involved with the initial start, but he... By the way, I would like to say that the more in depth into Game of Thrones I get, the more excited I get for what they're going to do with Star Wars because they can plant some nuggets. Yes. And then five yes. years later, Neon-wise, come back yeah. and pull that one up again. <laughs> when Gentry showed Wreck up in like season seven, we're yeah. like, wait, that's, wait, that's, Hey, that's not fair. Well, and okay, this isn't I don't think a spoiler. Um uh you always hurt the one you love. <laughs> and you're like that was from last season, last night. Brand says you always hurt the ones you love. Well, to Jamie, the, th- the things and, you do for love, or the things you the do, the things for love. you do for love, which is a callback to okay, because he, yeah. it's what he says, and then pushes Bran out the window in the first episode, yeah, and then Bran throws it back in his face at the trial of Jamie Lannister. Yeah. Um, is there any more Lannisters we can put in trial in this? Series? No, no, I think they're all dead they're all or dead. they've been on trial now. Okay, so. all right. Um, one last thing that um. I think we should talk about, and that is what our Patreon is doing right now. Uh, even though we just talked about it on our Patreon review, uh, but I want to talk about it here. We are building a brand, and we are looking for support and help from everyone. That includes you, and you, and you, and the one sitting behind you. Uh, w- let's talk because I'm that guy. We started a podcast feed. Uh, is on Anchor FM. It distributes to all the different locations around, and uh, you can go to Anchor FM and get it there, or you can go to podcast uh, uh, Spotify, Google Play Podcast. There's a couple different other ones that are on there. What we need from you is to like, rate, subscribe, share with your friends, all that kind of stuff. Yep. And also, we are 14 subscribers to the cult from 500 on YouTube. And we're, we're trying to, we're trying really hard to push, 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 push. So we have a quest for you guys. We are looking to get the, these things going. And, uh, and we're, I was going to talk about Patreon and I went off on a different tangent. Yeah, you did. Hi, how are you doing? Uh, <laughs> so subscribe and share everything. Uh, we will, we're will. we really looking for help with that. We're also on Patreon. And so the Patreon thing is really cool right now. We You can get in at $1. You get re- uh, special reviews that we're doing. We're going back and filling holes in our movie going uh, past, I guess. Yep. You can, you can vote on every month. We put up three. For two f- 250 you can do with one of three i thought everybody got to vote nope everybody gets to watch them oh, okay the second level that the 250 level you get to vote and the five dollar level you get, you get to, to give us a movie not the road to watch and review yes a movie of your choice you, what, your, whatever your... you want just not the road not the road and we've talked about if you did deli does dallas we would have a longer conversation <laughs> but not porn we're not gonna do porn but but we not did kind of uh no it's not that type of show um we just the, did the, the magnificent seven yep. for last month we just did a review on that and our patreon movie was um was it thx thx 11? was the last one 30, we did for seven 38 yeah. so 
pick a movie. It doesn't have to be in a specific genre. At that level, it's a five dollar level, and you get everything else, and you get to tell us, and you get to do it every six months. So every six months, you get to come back in and say, "Okay, I want you to watch this now." And and so- because of our patrons, we. Um, if you've been around for a while, you've noticed that the music has changed. So we have our own um, kind of owned music, intro, outro, and then same for the um, Rebel Files. So we don't get copyrighted. And we just um, got our new logo, which we will be using soon. Soon. As soon as we <laughs> get it all finalized, there's a couple of little tweaks that we just got our first rendering and I'm liking a lot what we're seeing. So yep. we would really, really appreciate for you guys to help us out with the Patreon. Like I said, $1 a month. All the connective links and everything is in the description, both of the podcast and the YouTube channel. You can go in there and you know, click and grab and whatever and and send them off to different places. We really appreciate everyone who's been watching and following and helping us build this. Uh, We are going to try, once we get settled, we're going to do our best to kind of, you know, do some more stuff and they'll have rebel files tomorrow. Josh is feeling better. That's the hope he's feeling better. (laughs) And so we'll get into the star Wars stuff. So with that, we're going to call it a night and go. um, I, still in my work clothes she's still in her work clothes it's been one of those (laughs) days so until next time cult members thank you very much for subscribing liking and rating good night now